This guy is an NPC. He fell in love with his best friend because she's the only female who gives him attention. We're on my favorite subreddit, dating advice for men. I love this subreddit because I feel like a lot of guys have a lot of questions and most guys don't know how to answer them. So here I am to help you guys, okay? So let's check out, let's see what Fast Duck 6149 had to say. Falling for my female best friend. Hi, I don't know how to start, but let me just elaborate how much I can. Me and her are friends for almost three years, but it's been 1.5 years that we became so close. She's very nice to me and likes to talk to me almost about everything. She says she always wants to live in the same city as me. She's single since two, uh, 2019 and 2023. Okay. Everything was going well since I started to feel something about her recently, but it has always been in my mind because I knew she never liked someone like me romantically because I'm very thin, shorter than her, and in the past she had dated like bodybuilder and athletes. But she's my best friend, so this is the reason I think she's so nice and caring, but despite all of the efforts, I think I am still falling for her. I know I will get rejected, but sometimes I don't know. Like she wants to move in with me. She talks about is sometimes we are going on an international trip, text year together, only me and her. So we're going on a trip together. Are all these she doing with me because she just sees me as a friend and comfort zone, or there's a chance that she really likes me slightly, just just so slightly. I don't want to get my hopes high and get my heart broken. I really hope to get my great advice from you guys. Thank you. Well, you're in good hands, Fast Duck, because this is this is a, a very specific situation, but a very common situation. A lot of guys fall in love with their best friend. I've been there where you have like that super close female friend that you kind of fall for. And it's not really just because you guys have, like, have a lot of common, you guys get along so well. It's mostly because this is the only girl in your life who's showing you love, who's giving you attention, who's showing any type of affection towards you, who is being warm around you. This is something you're not used to, especially if you guys have been friends for almost three years. That means for three years, you've been getting the cold shoulder for most women besides her. That's how most guys end up falling in love with female friends after a while. It's because they've been dealing with such, I guess you could say the game, the relationship dynamic of dealing with most women. Most women are not going to show affection for you for multiple reasons. But the female friends in your life, they're always going to be warm around you. They're always going to be nice to you. They're always going to have a good time with you. They're always going to show you affection. If you're very non-threatening like this guy, I mean, she wants to go on trips with him. If she wants to go on a, a fucking road trip with you and she has no intention whatsoever of making a move on you, she sees you as a close friend, somebody who is non-threatening sexually whatsoever. And honestly, that's not too surprising considering I, I have a feeling, I, this is a shot in the dark, but this guy has very low self-confidence. He pits himself down by saying, oh, I'm very thin, I'm shorter than her, and she dated bodybuilder athlete types. Girls don't have a consistent type, I'll have to be honest with you. Most girls have more personality types than physical types. I have dated plenty of girls before and body-wise, most of the guys that they've been with have nothing in common. Some guys are fucking completely overweight, some guys are barely 120 pounds. And I know plenty of guys who are on the shorter side who date women who are much taller than them. I have a friend who's about 5'7 and his girlfriend is my height. I'm fucking 6'2". And from what I heard, her boyfriend before him was somebody taller than me. So girls don't have much of a body type. Of course, they might have a couple of preferences, but if you're a Chad, if you're confident, if you are just have that dominant personality, that energetic, that charismatic personality, girls are just drawn towards you. They throw all their body preferences out the window if you have that personality, that strong personality to really get her attention. But this guy thinks that because the girl he's talking to has a history of guys who are a little bit more built, a little bit more fit, that he has a zero chance. This is already a bad sign. Not because the girl has a certain type of data history, but because this guy lacks confidence in himself. And I'm sure that carries over in his dating history and how he approaches women in general. This is how most guys end up falling in love with their female friends. 
It's because they lack so much confidence going outside of their inner circle. And this girl mentions how she always wants to live in the same city as this guy. She feels so comfortable around him. This is classic friend zone behavior. This is classic guy who doesn't have a fucking chance with a girl. But she sees you as like a brother, like her best friend. You're no different than her gay best friend, bro. That's the situation you're in right now. Girls would do anything around their gay best friend. I called you a brother before, but you're more like her sister at this point. She'll change her clothes around you. She'll fake flirt with you. She'll say things like, damn, once you find a girl who is right for you, oh my God. Those are the type of shit you'll hear from your female best friend. And that shit is soul crushing because you think, maybe this is the girl for me. Maybe I've been looking elsewhere when the answer is right in front of me. Oh, guess what? It's not. This girl does not fuck with this guy like that. This guy, I'm sorry, but he does not have a chance at fucking his female best friend. Now, don't get me wrong. There are certain situations where you could fuck your female friends. I've done it. It's not something I'm very proud of. It's not something I will recommend to most guys because that friendship dynamic is never the same once you guys start fucking. Even shooting your shot can really fuck up the entire friendship. And with this situation of almost, what, three years of no real sexual chemistry for the most part, I think it's safe to say that even shooting your shot will change it forever. And here's the thing, most females, the guys who they're friends with, she knows that you like her. She knows that you have a crush on her. She knows that you're in fucking love with her. She's comfortable with that at this point because she knows that you'll never get a chance, but because you think that you do have a chance, you try harder to be a good friend. So she'll string you along. She'll play games with you. She'll take you on fucking road trips with you, knowing damn well you'll never fuck her. But because you want to fuck her, you'll try your hardest to be a good friend. When in reality, this is the fakest friendship you could possibly have because you don't even want her as a friend at this point. You want her as a girlfriend and she knows that about you and she'll still string you along and put you in the fucking friend zone where you rightfully belong. So to wrap up my advice, this guy, he should not shoot his shot. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's see what some of the comments have to say. There's a lot of guys saying to shoot your shot, stop being a pussy. And honestly, that is usually my opinion. I usually tell guys, yo, shoot your shot. What do you have to lose? But in this case, I think this guy has a lot to lose. I'm talking a three year friendship. Now, if he really wants her as a friend and is willing to actually have a natural friendship, I don't know the dynamics or the specifics of their friendship. A lot of guys, they're in fake friendships. They have no real interest. They have nothing in common with the girl they're talking to. They just like her and they're in the friend zone. So they call it a friendship. That's not a friendship, bro. That is a fake relationship. I don't know if this guy has an actual friendship or a fake relationship. He said he just started to develop feelings in the past year and a half. So I like to think there used to be a genuine friendship there, but who knows? If you're in a fake relationship, if you have nothing in common with that girl, if the only thing on your mind when you speak to her is wanting to fuck her, then you might as well shoot your shot because you're, you're wasting your time right now. This is not a genuine friendship, so you really have nothing to lose. But this guy, he might have a friendship to lose. So really think about whether or not you can relate to this guy. This is a very good point by Tiny Homo. Do you feel there's a vibe between you? Like there is a flirty mood? The traveling thing doesn't have any, doesn't have to mean anything. Can be just a plan if you had to be friends for a long time. Exactly. You can test the waters by asking, have you ever thought about us dating in a lighthearted way? That is a, no, I never like when guys do the joking. Like the joke flirt, like nigga, stop it. Either flirt or either shit or get off the pot. Don't do the joke in half ass. Like, oh, can you picture us dating? LOL, right? JK, just kidding. But what do you think? Like, no, nigga, what's wrong with you? Don't say shit like that. I, that is the most NPC way of flirting. This is how pussies flirt by joking. Don't joke. Be a man. Say how you feel. Or you can ask her on a date. If you do, be prepared. It can change the friendship, though. The moving in thing is tricky though. I might heard it. We live the oh yeah, I forgot. She talked about living in with each other. Ugh. Yeah, you're in the friend zone. She sees you as the gay best friend. Nothing more, nothing less. But this is this is the part I want to emphasize. Is there a flirty mood? I have been friends with girls and there's like a flirty mood, okay? The, the, the female friends that I have actually hooked up with, there was always some type of flirty 
chemistry between us. There was always some type of sexual tension between us. There was always like, oh, well, you're in a relationship or I am in a relationship, so we're not going to fuck now, but maybe in the future we will. Those are the type of dynamics. Those are the type of friendships that you can actually hook up with a girl or maybe make this girl your actual girlfriend. And most guys don't have relationships with females like this. But if you do, and when you become a child, you will have a friendship like this with a girl who you could fuck because there's always sexual tension between y'all. But for whatever reasons, you guys are not fucking. That will happen when you become a child. But as of right now, if you're an NPC, if this guy is telling your story right now, then don't even think about that. Figure out whether or not your friendship or fake relationship is one of the two. And this guy admits, I don't think there's a kind of flirty vibe, which is... So the biggest telltale sign that this girl is not interested in. And we'll end with this guy's last comment, the guy who posted the question. Yes, I kept in mind what you have said, but even for that, I'm scared you know I'm not that kind of person who has lots of friends. I'm afraid of what she'll think of me after that she will still be the same. But I can't live in confusion forever. I have to ask it. Poor guy, he has to ask it. He has to fuck it up because you're really fucking it up. But if you're if your desire to ask is this strong, then you might as well fucking ask. You might as well throw this fake friendship out the window. Because at this point, I'm convinced that this is a fake friendship. You're in love with this girl and you don't really care about keeping the friendship intact. I have been I have fallen for girls who I never really told them how I felt at the time because I really like the friendship. I really like our friendship dynamic. And I know if I try to make this serious. There's a good chance this shit won't work out and this whole dynamic is fucked up. So I push those feelings to the side because at the end of the day, those were just feelings. Those feelings were temporary. Do I feel the same now? Of course not. Do I still appreciate that friendship though? 100%. So if you really value that friendship, you don't really have to tell her how you feel because at the end of the day, you only gonna feel this for so long. But if you don't give a fuck, if you realize that this friendship is not really a friendship, you're just in the friend zone and you have to deal with it, then fuck it. Say how you feel. Who gives a fuck? Maybe she'll say yes. Probably not, though. And why not? Because you're an NPC right now. You're a background character in your own life. That shit is rough. That shit is sad. That shit is not easy, but that's your reality. But it's okay. That shit will change. You will become a child. You will become a guy whose mere presence lightens up the mood. Who girls just want to be around you. The guy who brightens up people's days. So be a Chad and do yourself a favor and join the Discord link in the description. In the Discord, you can ask questions just like this and I will be ready to respond. So don't be an NPC, be a Chad. And don't forget, when you was a kid, Chad took your lunch. Now as a man, he takes your bitch. See you in the next video.